All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do some testing on track phones, 5G unlimited plan. Uh, the unlimited 5G plan, I think, is what it's called. And if you look at the terms of the service, you'll see that video playback on device is capped. And it's it's good enough. It's pretty good. Um, you'll get 1080p uh, on pretty much all circumstances, whether you're connected to LTE or 5G, 5G ultra wideband, whatever. Um, I did the video actually previously, and we tried it out, right? LT, we're getting like four megabits per second for fast.com, which is video playback. Uh, for 5G Ultra Wideband, we're getting 10. And what I want to do today is I want to kind of take a look at that, actually do the video testing. So we're going to, you know, obviously do it under the different circumstances, starting with 5G Ultra Wideband. Uh, and actually, let me go ahead and do it like this. Uh, 5G Ultra Wideband in the upper right-hand corner. So we are connected to N77, the C-band, 140 megahertz of this stuff. It's really, really fast. I'll show you guys. It's, you know, it's 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 a fast connection. Of course, it's always good to just kind of make sure, you know, you're connected to it. It's up here in the upper right-hand corner. And you'll see our downlink throughput is, you know, there's plenty there. It's, it's not an issue. Uh, we've got over 250 megabits per second, over 200 megabits per second. Uh, and what you want to do is then go to fast.com and you guys will see the you know, the video resolution, probably about 10 megabits per second. That's what it was when we initially tested it. And yep, that's what we got right here. Looks like about nine or 10 megabits. So what can you do with nine or 10 megabits on video? Uh, let's go ahead and, and this is not for, I'm not trying to copyright, you know, I'm not trying to do anything bad with this video for the publisher or whatever of this video, just for educational purposes, showing, you know, what you could do with, you know, 10 megabits per second. So 5G Ultra Wideband, upper right-hand corner. Let's click on the video. It's supposed to be a 4K feed. Good. Um, so let's check the video playback. It defaults to 720p. So whatever settings are in place for track phone, it starts it out with 720p. Let's go ahead and move it over to 1080p. We'll see if we continue to get that continuous playback. I'm going to go to where it says more in the gear, stats for nerds. And what you guys will see is in this box, all the like, specific things about the playback. You'll see like 1080p video right there. Uh, you'll see like the actual like settings, you'll see how much bandwidth is being utilized. I'm gonna just try to get a little bit closer for you guys so you could see. Um, yeah, and it tells you like how much it's, how fast it's connecting. You'll see like eight megabits per second there. Uh, that's down here. You'll see it's changing, like it's it's variable. But anyways, uh, what's kind of cool, and, and this is what's cool about Stats for Nerds, you'll see up here it says playing at the top. So that's continuous playback. If it was buffering, it would literally say buffering. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this in here. Again, no copyright intended. I'm going to just leave it in there, and what I want to do is see if we can make it buffer, all right? And so far, so good, and that's at 1080p. We don't see anything. It'll say buffering right here at the top, and then we can tell you to see how much of the data is actually being transmitted. Uh, we're hanging around like 8 megabits to 11 megabits per second uh, to produce this. All right, now, and, and it's 1080p, right? You guys will see that right there. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try uh, maybe some higher higher resolution so we've got options this video allows you to choose 1440p which is 2k we'll go ahead and change that monitor it right here where it says 1080p that should change to 1440 once it gets updated here and you guys will see it that's there it is just changed obviously it's going to change how much network speed is going to be required and you'll see that it's going to continue to keep playing and if it doesn't it'll say buffering up here um but yeah, this is this is something we'll go ahead and test. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this, and we'll see if we do get the buffering indicator right here, or if the video becomes uh, dis like I don't know, it doesn't disconnect, but it'll kind of lag, and then it'll buffer. You get the spinning wheel thingy, and then it doesn't play anymore. So I'll go ahead and fast forward it for the next few seconds. All right, so I think we're good. I think that's enough to kind of know that we're still playing. It's continuous. It's not disrupted. We do see the network pull is happening actively. You'll see five, seven megabits per second here. Uh, you'll see the 1440p is still enabled. So the 2K is solid. It is continuously playing back on the 5G unlimited plan. Okay, so 1080p was good. Uh, Quad HD, 2K is good. Uh, really, the last thing to check is to see if we can get 4K. So you go to the uh, quality, hit advanced, and that's the last setting. It's 2160. This is going to require more bandwidth, more speed in order to do this. You'll see it's still running at 1440. We're going to wait for it to update to 2160. 
and then you'll see the network pull should be a little bit harder unless it doesn't permit it or it's not capable of doing it according to the plan provision then it's going to start buffering so let's monitor still says 1440p right next to my finger let's see if we'll update and go to 2160 we'll watch for the bandwidth pull and then we'll see if we can get buffering video and there we have it, it says buffering at the top as it doesn't seem like it's really able based on the provisioning of the plan to go into the 4k playback without disruption uh, you'll see it does indicate it now it's playing it right so this is an important moment for i think folks out there to understand while you may be able to get some kind of 4k playback it's not guaranteed or fully supported without it kind of having this buffering that you see so buffering is reading at the top uh, you'll see it is 2160p so that has changed and you'll see the network pull is happening, but because of the plan limitations and the provisioning of the plan, you're getting disrupted playback, which is not ideal. Now, if you hit pause on your video and then kind of hit play again, sometimes it works ahead a little bit. It might work, but technically and by definition of the way this plan is provisioned, it really doesn't truly support 2160p. It really doesn't truly support 4K. If you want that, you're going to have to go to a Verizon postpaid plan or some other network provider that you know has the verizon network so maybe something like comcast xfinity or spectrum mobile or something maybe they've got some premium plans that allow it but this is the highest priority access you can get through total wireless for the verizon network so you can't really do it um you're gonna have to either you know use a vpn or some kind of workaround like that uh, but this is pretty much it you'll see the the buffering is happening that is a real thing so 1080p was good 1440p the 2k was good 4k not really supported you're getting discontinuous playback it's buffering not ideal uh, maybe there's some apps that could work with that 10 megabits to produce 4k uh, clearly youtube is not one of them in terms of the lt getting you about four megabits you're obviously good with the 720p you're probably good at 1080p but um you know i don't think you're going to be able to do anything higher resolution in fact let's do that all right so i'm going to move the phone from 5g on to lte that's going to change a lot for us let's see what the fast.com gives us on LT, if you guys remember, remember from my previous video, we were getting four megabits per second. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're getting there. All right, so now we can go ahead and go back to the video. And what we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and change the resolution. We're gonna go from 160, let's go down to 1080p. And let me hit play and then go live. Remember, we're monitoring for continuous playback. It does say playing, doesn't seem like it's being disrupted that although that seems to be a little bit weird the way it's looking uh you can see the latency down there you can see the frames it does say 1080p seems to be playing it pretty pretty solid we are getting this weird thing it is kind of buffering interesting struggling with the 1080p on the four megabits per second it's interesting so yeah yeah there it is it is buffering 1080p video You'll see for the bandwidth, I mean, 2.8 megabits, 2.3, it's not giving us the 4 megabits we got from the Netflix servers. So it looks to me like maybe Total is being a little bit restrictive on the YouTube video specifically. Uh, it's not giving me the 4 megabits on Netflix. So I would assume, and I could be wrong, but I would assume that if you're watching Netflix, you would do two, um, 1080p no problem. Looks like 1080p on YouTube... I see a restriction here. It's like 2.7. It's staying under 3 megabits. So it's that's going to be a very, very difficult proposition to do 1080p with just under 3 megabits per second. All right, so that's kind of important. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. And let me know if you have this plan. Let me know if you're interested in, in you know total wireless. But maybe this is make or break, possibly. Or if you're good with 1080p or 2K, you know, that's, that's plenty good. You guys see how it was with the 4K on 5G Ultra Wideband? It was, it was disrupted. It was buffering. Uh, you saw it was good with 2K 1440p. Uh, it was good on the 1080p. But going to LTE, uh, it, it's kind of sort of doing the 1080p on YouTube. But I think it does need a little bit more just to keep it, you know, the playing, uh, you know, continuously and without disruption. We did kind of see some of the frames kind of freezing there a little bit, lagging or something. But um, anyways, I hope you guys learned something from the video. Let me know what you think of this experience. Let me know if you're interested in Total, if you have Total, which plans do you have? How's the video for you? What's that experience like? And what do you think of these conditions 
for this connection. Let me know. Drop me some comments. Like, share, subscribe. Check out some more videos. We'll see you guys soon on the next one.